Welcome back, he says, to Anderton's TV. Just TV. checking that Pete was with me there, but I, he I, is. I, am. I, am. <laughs> I, I might not look like I'm with you, but I'm always with you, right behind you. I did you. go early. I did you, go early. But hey, <laughs> not the first time. Uh, welcome back to Tales from the Pedal Cabin. This is a short series. Well, it's a long series now, isn't it? Videos where we grab uh, new pedals and talk about them. All right, you can see the whole playlist of Tales from the Pedal Cabinet below. It's probably mm. about three or four years old now, this it show, is. isn't it? Um, Before we start, Lee, it's important just to do some housekeeping I'll Just rules. get a broom. Get your broom and your little outfit out. Links below, timestamps, each pedal, shipping, you know. Anywhere in the world. Yeah. It's cheap, right? You can win something and you're awesome. <laughs> and we sell t-shirts, uh, but not these yeah. ones. Uh, I dug this t-shirt out of my, uh, all my Andersons ones were dirty. That's a good one. This is my favorite non-Andersons t-shirt. Um, the person who designed this emailed me the other day and I totally forgot to reply saying, I've got a box of these left, do you want to buy really? them? Really? And I should have bought them. What I really want to do is buy the design and then I'll just make Andersons ones with these on them. Anyway, right! Have Andersons coming down like Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, so mm -hmm. our five pedals today are the Gritador from Brown Amplification, the ODD from Warm Audio, the, the Mutation Phase or uh, Mark II from Warm Audio, the new Harmonious Monk Mark II, the little Mark II uh, from uh, Jam Pedals, and the ER2 from Thorpey Vibrato mm. Chorus. Right, yes. let's crack on with the demo. Our clean mm. sound today is provided by the Friedman Little Sister. Sounds mm. like this. And the guitar is from Iconic. Links below for all of that as well. So brown amplification uh, first came into our lives with the protein drive, right? It's a little two mm, button, delicious. Um, brilliant sounding drive pedal. Been on Pete's board uh, yeah. regularly ever since. Absolutely. And they have ventured into the world of modding tube screamers. Uh, so yes, that concept isn't new, but brown well, that's what they do, do good it? things, yeah, right? So they got the, uh, what's it called? I've got them over here. Carbon, Yeah. protein. Yeah, no, the um, other one. Uh, T4, whatever, but they're all like, they're yeah. all their versions of... Uh, what does Gritador mean in Portuguese, Pete? It means screamer. I did not know that. Is that do you think Gryffindor it was, came from Gritador? Is it from the Portuguese to scream? Is that why the wizards, were they all screaming wizards? <laughs> I'm lost. Right, let's go with, uh, let's go kind of... Uh, what we we'll go, let's do the 12 o'clock test yeah, first of all. roll off that you would expect maybe no. with the tone in this place. And the mid range is different as well, isn't mm. it? It's like a little bit different from... <laughs> it's got it, but there's more low end. Okay, isn't there? let's or just go with a couple of iconic settings. Uh, so uh, our uh, first uh, iconic uh, <laughs> is maybe a little less level, but a little more drive and a tiny bit more tone maybe. <laughs> Great man, doesn't it? Yeah, it I, sounds good. There, there isn't, the a, sound there good. isn't a brown pedal I don't like. No, um, a brown amplification pedal it is. I'm sure there are just brown pedals is out there. Brown that I don't like. The Lexus brown, isn't it? Uh, but I like that. So there is no yeah. brown pedal I don't like. Well, uh, let's try brown. less drive, more level. Okay. That's good, isn't it? Ooh. When we get on to playing with the ODD, <laughs> we'll we'll 
try the Gritador into the ODD with some okay, of those yeah. very yeah. classic yeah. kind of low drive, high level Sounds things. Sounds great, man. Uh, last setting on the Gritador before we move over. Let's just let's just see what the tone does. So. Mm -hmm. tone controls that are usable. You know, some go yeah. from so muffled, you'd mm. go, what would be the point, to so bright, you'd go, when would you ever use that? Sometimes muffled is... Well, I, I like that this is, even <laughs> all the way up, it's just going, yeah, it's just take... That would, to me, that would just take, like, a, a dark sound and make it slightly brighter. Yeah. Anyway, last setting on here, all the drive, uh, and let's see what it's got. <laughs> from Kansas City, USA, along with Dorothy oh, and Toto the dog. I was just going to say that. Were you? Wow. Right. Um, right. Toto. ODD. Uh, who knows how much controversy there's going to be around this. Uh, I will leave you to decide what uh, pedal this may or may not be cloning or infringing upon. I don't know. Um, <laughs> all we know is that warm audio make good pedals. Uh, and yeah. I'm excited to mm. hear what this sounds it like. like. It looks familiar, doesn't it? It's like, it's <laughs> Uh, do you, do, are you the kind of person that when you get home needs to line up all of your sort of like soup tins and everything in the cupboard no. so they're all perfectly colour coordinated and anything? Because if you were, you might be uh, what this pedal, pedal is, is trying to be. Anyway, right, oh, enough of that. Let's see go. where you're going. Uh, ha, 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 ha. We've got a volume, a drive, a tone and a UK and US switch. So let's start is, is that, in the UK. Oh, don't remember that, that switch. Oh. I don't think it's from the other one. You know the word transparent, mm. another one of those kind of hand grenade stupid words like <laughs> organic and yeah, yeah. flabby or whatever like that. That's, that is Airy. transparent. It is, it is. Man. It's not as loud as the other one was. Uh, okay, it let's... seems like you have to. Let's just. A bit more volume in it, maybe. It My, just a... I think this has got, this has got a much flobbier. Bass end than this one, but yeah, we can we can turn. I don't it up mind a the floppy bass end for me. <laughs> something I can't work out. Uh, with. Do you know what though? I was about to say <laughs> I don't think again, we'd have to do a side by side test, or whatever, but I I recollect the original one of these being More gain. gainier. Mm -hmm. Uh maybe it'll get gainier. But I think as there I was like a B one maybe that's what it was, is. Maybe there's like an old four? There were four versions, yeah. I think that might be It says V one. Yeah it does, doesn't it? <laughs> Stank. 
Uh, That's good. That is really good. Let's try what uh, the US uh, sounds like. More gain. More gain. A lot more compressed and therefore lower volume as well. I yeah, think. almost like a um, distortion instead of a drive, right? <laughs> Just gonna say, and I know I'm biased, but I think the UK wins in that particular mm -hmm. setting shootout. Um, let's shootout. let's see what the tone control does, Mr. Pete. Let's do uh, it. Back on the UK setting. Yeah, and I'm back on the neck pickup. Oh, that's too much. That's too, too much. Twelve o'clock. Yeah. Okay, it rolls off nicely. Let's as well. see if we get our kind of fat, crunchy rhythm sound out the ODD, mm. and then dump the gritador into it. To see what happens there. I think the Gritador mm. is for someone that likes that tube screamer gain structure but doesn't necessarily want the bass end all taken away. Yeah, and the mid, mid range, not too Not too harsh. lazily. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Which actually is, I pretty much just described exactly what I would want a tube screamer to be. <laughs> Slightly less nasally and with a bit more bass end. But I do accept that many, many people buy the tube screamer clone because of that. Yeah. Bass end so removal, and the, you know, you so the sound out in the, the band, of, right? Yeah. So yeah. Anyway, anyway, there we are. That mm -hmm. sounded great as well. Mm -hmm. um, links below uh, to buy all of these. Um, I think the ODD is. I haven't told you pricing yet, have I? No. I know this is two one nine. How much? One one nine. Let's one, do one, that again. Really? Well, in fact, we'll we'll keep the element of surprise in really? there. I've just one one nine for that. that. Next pedal. Very sure. Uh, this couldn't look any more 70s if it tried. Mm. Uh, it is it's another one from Warm, Warm Audio called the <laughs> Mutation Phase War 2. And is uh, their version of the Mutron Phase War. Like a car, if you put like wheels on it. 100%. 100%. Mm -hmm. Or a, yet again, the, dog, the head of the Doctor Who canine. <laughs> Let's have a little listen. It's, I mean, again, you rate depth feedback, right? It's three normal controls for this kind of pedal. <laughs> Says here, Mr. Pete, mm -hmm. to deliver a true to spec recreation of the circuit, the mutation phase of two is built with premium components, including the classic. I mean, classic, classic. RC4558P. Oh, that's classic. <laughs> RC4558P. Uh, it's a vintage style diode <laughs> carbon resistor. Say it again, say it again. I can't. Just say it again. You'll make a mess in your pants. RC4558P. Um, anyway, oh, that's this. what makes I it amazing. I love when you talk dirty. <laughs> Sounds like it's gone it quiet. Great. I put some more reverb on it, ah. so that might be why. It's, whoa, yeah, it's, whoa. It's, it's got the bucket thing going on. So 
70. I like it. I almost feel like we need to do, I need to start playing bass and we need to work out a little dance routine for the stage for this kind of. I like, like it. What if we really, wow. That's where the phase or. Is that usable? Not really. Unless maybe you put like reverb delay and some crazy drive. save and stuff like that. Try it. I'm, gonna, that I'm just going to say it now. Uh, unnecessarily large, difficult. I mean, I almost feel like some of those old sort of 60s and 70s vintage pedals are That's so what people say to massive. Me. Uh, I, when I was younger, it's unnecessarily large. Unnecessarily large. Mm. Um, that's what my waistline is. Yeah, I mean, it kind of cool, sounds man. cool. I, cool. I, I, I sort of, I'm guessing you can't really criticize these recreations if they are just, re, you know, if at the end of the day, this is what the old pedal yeah. was. I think there was a switch I, on the original one here, but I don't know what that did. But For me, as a guitar player, once the rate is past three or four... That's but, all right. But halfway, I mean... We're, yeah. I don't know what you do with that, but I guess, you know, it says in, the, it says in the blurb that this was um, a very popular with keyboard players as well as, as mm -hmm. um, guitar players That's and bass players. So here we it. are. Um, anyway, anyway that's good. the mutation phase of Another uh, reasonably affordable mutation. pedal from Warm Audio. It's about 150 <laughs> quid. So <laughs> here we go. Um, Mick here. Dan here. Dan here. Hello. I need to say that in a different accent. Dan, Dan here. Hello. Uh, I need a hat and a beard. Um, the Harmonious Monk was a pedal that they collaborated on with uh, the guys at Jam um, mm. a couple of years ago now. It's their harmonic tremolo yeah, pedal. Hugely popular first time round. Now we have a Mark II. So, mm. what's new, I hear you ask? Whoa, whoa, uh, whoa. Tap tempo, a mm -hmm. ramp function. Uh, by holding the tap switch, it will ramp to a second speed that you can determine uh, yourself. Uh, there is a second mode of operation called the legacy mode, which mm -hmm. retains and expands on the Mark 1's functionality. Uh, there's a new LFO waveform added. That's the reverse sawtooth. I love uh, the reverse there is, sawtooth. And there is a chop dry kill function. Holy moly. And in addition... It's got some in internal stuff as well, isn't yes, it? Yes, I was about to say, in addition to the Mark 1's three internal EQ trimmers that were in the Mark 1, mm -hmm. The Mark II features new internal hedge trimmer to adjust the input gain control um, to optimize the Harmonious Monk for use with guitar, bass, keyboards, or anything else you might want to throw at it. Wow. How does and this sound, though? You can now specify <laughs> the startup state of the Mark II to on or off upon receiving power. Why? But why not? Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's get chewy. Hang on. It hurts. A little bit. <laughs> Thank you. 
Can you just it's wear a pair great. of glasses, but on your forehead, just so that I can just feel a little bit more like I'm actually with Mick? <laughs> no, down a bit. Down a bit. Down, there, that's exactly where he wears them. <laughs> but his hairline is so good, man. Mine is too high compared to... Right, Mr. Pete, mm -hmm. I've got to show you this cool uh, ramping effect on Ramp here. Me, baby. I think this is going to be the clincher, as they say. The clincher? What is that? It's I a mean? sales technique. It's the point at which, in the demonstration, you just go, ah, I'm ah. going to buy it. Let's get a nice, <laughs> slow, harmonic, tremolo kind of sound, mm -hmm. deep and lush, like this. Let's say it's our base tone, yep. our, our okay. base sound that we kind of like. Yes. I can, of course, tap in a faster tremolo you and can. it will do that. You can. However, yes, you can. what I think is cooler on here, if I hold the tap control down, mm -hmm. I can elect to choose a faster. I might go a bit over the top here just so do you can it. kind of see it. So go over that's the top. how fast it's going to go now. So keep it's good film. That one I'm also so using the depth control can decide how fast fast it ramps up to that uh, speed. I presume this would work in reverse as well. Right, yeah. so now go back to our normal setting like that. So that's kind of where we were before. As you press the mm. chord. Press the chord? I thought, you know what I mean, yeah. play the chord. And it was still. Yeah. sounding mm. pedal ladies and gentlemen and we'll Delicious. set you back 249 pounds i reckon too bad. if you uh, got the easy jet sale you could actually fly to greece about six times for that price couldn't you but there we Probably. are isn't yeah. that isn't that mad but you right. have to pay 500 quid for your <laughs> luggage haven't you <laughs> so I'm there you go the toilet. that is the jam harmonious monk uh That's collaboration nice. between mick and dan and the lovely people at jam mark de Lastly, lastly. Okay, uh, Adrian Thorpe, uh, mm -hmm. the man behind Thorpey Pedals, has got a new pedal called the ER2. This is a uh, vibrato chorus pedal, but with the vital ingredient that it is an actual optical. Um, it is, yeah. Is that like a, a radar modulation. plane or something, isn't it? So it's, is it one of these ER2? You know, the one with the big, uh, like a satellite yeah. plane or a spy plane or something like that? Right, as we speak, uh, this product is not actually on our website yet or on Thorpey's website no. or anyone. So we, uh, we don't have a great deal Secret. of information about it, Secret. but by the time this video comes out, it will all be down there. So if you're interested oh. in kind of what components are physically inside it and all that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. go read those links. Yes. We're just going to listen. Um, the With our ears. lights on the front would suggest that we're now in vibrato mode, now we're in chorus mode. That's obviously the speed that it's modulating at. That's our on and off button. Uppy duppy here, we've got <laughs> speed, intensity, speed. volume, and then offset, which I'm guessing is the point at which, you know, on that sort of modulated LFO, you know, what point are you coming in? Um, let's start in chorus mode with everything at 12 o'clock. It's got Ooh, what is that the chewy. harmonic tremolo has, isn't it? That real sense that you've got a 3D depth to your modulation. It hugs you and goes, mm. Ooh. Anyway, we haven't heard enough of no. it. Let's do it. control on here because this type of circuit often does feel like uh, if you don't have that level yeah, control on there, you lose a bit of level. Uh, and so, lose high end and stuff, yeah, that doesn't seem to lose nice any high that end. Nice you that. can kind of match this into your circuit, your signal path.
right. Oh, that sounds lovely. Get your seasickness tablets, because oh. now we're going over to the vibrato <laughs> mode. Playing the chord with that sort of, that's a yeah. real, it's a suspense thing, isn't yeah. it? It's almost like it does that when you turn it, it goes slowly well, up that, to the speed. Yeah. So the, I think that's your offset. It's like whereabouts on the modulated uh, cycle are you kind of coming yeah. in? Wow, it's, it's almost more... like all the way off yeah. is at the start of the modulated yeah. cycle. And then anywhere up from there, you're kind of coming in uh, anyway, it's just coming in hard. I've, I've always, I've always preferred these types of pedals in their chorus mode. <laughs> yes. Yeah, vibrato is a weird thing. Yeah. Isn't it? You want to if you. If, if you don't like that real thump to it, you mm -hmm. just want to take the intensity down a bit. And you again. Can I just oh. try the same over this? Yeah, yeah. Different sound, Much isn't it? Much brighter this, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Serving uh, of, of niceness. <laughs> most expensive one on the end there. We saved the most expensive one to last. That's going to set yeah. you back nearly three hundred pounds. But okay. that's just because Thorpey makes pedals in that and it's, upper boutique. It's boot got the real end. thing inside it and the light and yeah. all that stuff, doesn't it? And uh, hidden feature: if you can throw this up in the air hard enough, get it into orbit over kind of Russia and China and stuff, mm. it will feed back to you all of their strategic yeah. military. Or you can do this by your ex girlfriend or whatever. If you want yeah. to, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> right, are we done? We're done. Okay, we're done. Yeah, we, we are, are done. done. Thank you so much for joining us for another silly half an hour of pedal video today. We'll be back tomorrow for sure. Um, if you can't wait that long, there's four thousand other videos you can watch. <laughs> right. <laughs> See you another time. <laughs> Au revoir. Au revoir.